We're here today to celebrate customizers from across the community, six of them in total. And we've been looking at work from Buster, Brian, Townie, NSI, Halo, and today, Ghost. They all banded together to create 24 custom figures from the Halo Championship Series Final, but they all sent us some extra figures, which is what we're looking at today. So without further yep. ado, Johnny Silverhand, I'm really excited about that one. See you. Let's check out Ghost's custom work. We are in part seven. Part of seven. This wild journey oh we've been goodness. on. We have been sitting here for a good while. Just it's about five hours. Yeah, just crushing through yeah, these. Yeah, uh, absolutely. It's been an absolute joy to say the least. You know what, Strandy? It's been a joy to be with you and a joy Thank to just you. embrace the the MCX. Thank you. This is this represents Mega and the MCX Instagram community. Yes. That's, that's yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. In the last episode, we checked out figures like Shipmaster, Ratas, Vadam, and you can actually buy this on LS3D store, the actual kit to paint your own and modify one of your elite. So details in the previous video for that. Today we're checking out Ghost's figures, and these are all figures he made for cosplayers at the Halo Championship Series final. He made so many. I mean, he, so many. he worked he tirelessly. in clutch and helped me a ton. Truly, uh, He picked truly. up a major workload for this. Truly. Thank you, Ghost. He really did. I mean, big shout out to Ghost. But today, he sent us four additional figures to look at. And that's what today's video is. And you know what? <laughs> I really... Oh, which do I even choose first? There's some crazy ones I think ones you here. gotta do the pair. I, I gotta do the, the pair? Two, yep. Yeah, okay. Wash and caboose. Wash and caboose. Wow. Making a good throwback to your RVB days and just enjoying a good time watching people enjoy Halo. Dude, really. And that's another one of my favorite things is just recreations of other community content things and just right, seeing it in a different right. medium has been so fun. Right. We kind of, like, we kind of got a Red vs. Blue mega set. Pretty much it was a red versus blue nod. But this is a true, like, okay. I, sometimes you're, you, you look at a figure and you're like, if I didn't have the context here, I could think that was a McFarlane figure, right? Yep. Like that is so, the scaling of this thing is extraordinary. The helmet is phenomenal. Um, I, I, I I might reach out to him and ask how much. <laughs> not, not, like, look at this thing. Good old Caboose. I, I, I want Caboose on my desk, okay? I'm a simple man. It's a simple figure. It's just a lot of 3D printed pieces, mostly just one clean color, right? And this has Gungnir legs, custom thighs, a cod belt, Mark V base chest, and Mark V wrist. So good. I. So here's the crazy thing. This is just a basic blue figure, but this might be... I, I, I don't know. It looks so good. It's a Halo Is it my 3, favorite? It's a Is Halo it my favorite from the showcase? It Because it's so crazy because it's not like, you know, we've seen things in this showcase that are just like, there's so much going on. Um, and we've seen ones that are like, yeah, like, look at that. So to pick a favorite is kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a, it's a silly notion. But... It's just simple. I don't know, dude. Also, uh, the more this is on the table, the more this is growing on me. This is an exceptional figure. I don't know, dude. I think this is like top, 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 top tier. I love Caboose. Yeah. Caboose is always yeah. one of my favorite characters. Funny. The shine. Yeah. I'm, I'm at, like, the shine on this figure. I'm, I'm very, like, I, I just want to say, I'm very, very impressed with this figure. Like, being able to just have a plain blue figure that has this much impact. Ha good. Hats off to you, Ghost. Hats, hats off to you. Every one of these figures, well, like, they've just been extraordinary, but this one has really caught me off guard. Wow. Oh, right. I just talked five minutes about that, that one blue caboose. And now, oh. the pseudo facto leader of blue team, Agent Washington. Mm. It's a the very- only one with any brains. Yep. A very similar figure, just that slightly different uh, painting, uh, but it, Again, a solid all-around figure, and honestly, my favorite character from Red vs. Blue. I love mm, the character yeah, yeah, development yeah. he goes through that entire show. It's just, I love him. One of my yeah. favorite, one of my favorite memories was there was a moment when Wash almost died, and everybody in the comments was saying, "If Wash dies, we riot against Rooster Teeth." And there's been some rioting against Rooster Teeth over the ah, years. <laughs> besides the points. <laughs> all right, we got two other figures. We're saving the best till last, or like the most unique till last. We've got this Halo Elite, and this is another one that is a kit that is available on LS3D store. So with a good steady hand, you could make a figure just like this. Look at those lights, man. Absolutely wild. Yeah, that's... It's your classic Elite. 
Mm. Wart, wart, wart. What, what, what? The helmet is removable, but I'm not going to for this video because it does always leave like the tiniest bit of scratch against the paintwork. Completely unavoidable thing. So I'm just gonna leave the helmet on and we can just bask in uh, the glory of this elite. Last but not least, also why is that elite the only one on a base plate of all these figures we've revealed? I don't know, I don't know actually. Yeah, he just happened um, to be. The final figure, Johnny Silverhand. I've been told it is quite fragile because, I mean, look at it. Okay, what are we talking about here? So that wild. What are we talking about here? <laughs> <laughs> what are you what are you talking about? I believe this is combined efforts between Ghost, Buster, and Milo. I believe that they all have had a part in this mm, yeah. to making that face. Yeah, this just a Look solid. at the paintwork on those biceps. It's so silly. I honestly don't know much about Cyberpunk. Uh, 77, do you 2077? Yeah. yeah, so basically, uh, from what I understand, Johnny Silverhand, a character in the game that dies, and then you download his memory into like a, a, a microchip, and he can speak to you throughout the game. Wake up, Samurai. Yeah, but one of the biggest, you know, of all the criticisms of Cyberpunk 2077, one of the unanimous praises was that he was actually a main character and that it's was Keanu utilized Reeves. all the time. No, but it wasn't just like a dumb Keanu Reeves cameo. He was like a main character. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so that people did respect that. But, but um, I, I cannot believe oh, that. Oh, oh. Oh, I didn't we didn't even that. see that. No. <laughs> we didn't even what see that. What the heck? Wow. What the heck? Samurai. All right, uh, Ghost, This I feel like this was a great one to finish on. Um, I'm just, I have been like elevated over this video series to have a brand new respect and appreciation for the MCX community. Particularly ju just, Instagram is, they've always existed in their own domain. Oh, 100%. Um, 100%, they've always just been their own subclass, you know what I mean? They don't always interact outside of Instagram. 100%. Or I... some people just don't have Instagram so they don't know about them. But they've been like, because uh, uh, you've been a, an Instagrammer for, only. forever. Yeah. I've only been on Instagram. Instagram yeah, when it comes to MCX, yeah, and yeah. since 2014, we've always been on that side of things. Instagram community has always been a lot of fun to be with, and this could not have been done without these guys. Mm, it's been yeah. absolutely wild. We do have one more little cool thing to show yep. off from Ghost. And Ghost has apparently informed me he'd like to help make one of these for, for me, which is very exciting. Um, these are some kind of clear resin that you set in maybe in a cup, and then you peel out, or in a cast mold and you create like just these spectacular, very honestly, fairly minimal um, yeah. base plates. Like it takes a long time, but you are essentially just like sticking clay or green stuff into this thing as it sets. And then it, it's pretty easy to do after that. Like it's not a comp, like you could do this with the right ingredients. The right today. ingredients and it just yeah. takes you time could, for the stuff to dry. It takes time, but it, you could do this and reach out to Ghost if you'd like to uh, ask how he did it. I'm sure he'd love to share some and information. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's get a zoom in on this one. This I, wanna, one. I wanna get our little, I wanna get our elite. Like, look it, it literally looks like it's getting deeper into the water. It just looks so good. Yeah, yeah. Looks very, very good. That's classy, you know? That's classy. Uh, I don't know how I got here, but... I think that concludes... Dude, I'm almost sad for it to come to an end. Almost. Almost. No, I'm very tired. <laughs> We've been doing day. this for about five hours. Strandy's been on this project for about a month. We still need to build display cases for like 24 of these and then present them to the people at the Halo Championship Series final. We're gonna be our, work is not, tomorrow. our work is not done. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been a celebration of the MCX community like never before. A collab larger than almost anything that's really been done in the Halo community, community, to be honest, because it's 24 figures going to 24 different costumes, 18 different 19 different, 19 people. different cosplayers at the Halo Championship Series final, and it was all organized by the man, the myth, the legend, Strandy42. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe. Johnny Silverhand is signing off.